Well, the company that was managing the zoo has decided that it will not continue operations with the city of Jackson. Now, 12 News, Kayla Thompson spoke to council members about this decision and their thoughts. Kayla, tell us what happened. Well, the Zoo Oceanarium group has chosen not to work with the city after they say some council members were hostile. The company and the city have been working together for about two and a half years, and in an email sent to me, Chris Davis, the managing partner, says it was a tough decision, but this is the end. Davis says he attended a city council meeting, and Councilwoman Virgie Lindsay was hostile toward the idea of a third-party company managing the zoo. Councilwoman Lindsay says she was not hostile, but seeking accountability. And, you know, I felt one of the um, best ways to do that was to at least acknowledge in the contract that the company was going to pursue AZA accreditation. Sometimes when asking questions, it's nothing personal. It's not trying to probe into if there's anything negative going on with any organization. It's just trying to help protect the city and the interests of the city. Mayor Lumumba issued a statement saying, in part, it is unfortunate that the contract with Zoo Oceanarian Group did not work out, but we are confident in our team, and the zoo plans to expand their hours starting in May and bring a full schedule back by the end of the summer. Walt.